inside and the outside as well as how you fold a classic A-liner up and down. Uh, it's an A-frame camper, a little bit different than maybe what you've seen other places, but uh, we're going to get to know it pretty quickly here. I'm sitting on the sofa, which turns into a bed, and the first thing I'm going to do is show you how that works. This right here is a bubble window. Uh, this is going to pull up for a, a cover. Uh, then, of course, it folds right back down into the bottom. When you want to make this into your bed, it's really simple. All you do is pull this out, slide all your cushions down, and there you have it. There's your bed. Push that all the way down. They're brand new, so they fit really tight. Kind of got to push them in there. Of course, if I wasn't videoing, this would be perfect. But anyway, push those down to make your bed. Then when you want to make it uh, actually back into a sofa, you just lift these up, slide this back, and fold that right back up. So it's really pretty simple. Uh, the other thing that I think is important is all of the A-liners have LED lights on them. So LEDs are very cool to the touch. They don't get really hot. They don't use much battery power and they last a very long time so you're not constantly fighting burned out bulbs. You also have flip up trays in this unit. Now this is the classic, remember, each different level of A-liners is different. This one has flip up tables on both sides, so that's kind of nice. You can set up your sofa to eat at or work out a little bit. Folds right back down. Uh, you've got a plug in over here and a park heat table, park cable hookup right there. Your LP detectors, and this is going to be your breakers and fuses. So you could have a TV in here with park cable without a problem. Let's see. Water pumps and water heater right here. This one has a hot water heater and an outside shower. This will be your furnace controls. There's your furnace right below us. A little bit of storage in here. along with a 110 plug and a nice little black sink little flip up uh, faucet that goes up and down so everything has to be under this hinge when you fold this up so that's the reason your faucet moves scooting over here got a three cubic foot refrigerator with a pull down freezer you've also got an inside outside stove now this stove sits on top in the classic, uh, not so much in the other versions, but it is uh, the standard in the classic. It actually clips into the propane here, so you can cook inside or you can hook it up outside, and I'll show you that in just a minute. Behind me is the dinette. Of course you can have a standard sitting dinette. I love the way they made the table a little smaller in this, so it's very easy to get in and out of the dinette. You're not squeezing past a table that's huge. Now to do that, they have to make this table a little bit smaller and it, when it drops down, it doesn't make the base for your bed. You have slats that are actually stored right behind here. If you look underneath the table, you might be able to see them. They have little finger pulls so that you can pull these slats out and put the slats across to actually make the bed. So that's how the, this turns into a bed in a classic. The cool thing about this table is that this can come up and it can actually drop down in this slot right here to become a barrier for storage. And of course this pole comes out as well. Get that out for you. You've got a nice little storage area. Now if you're using your camper and you don't need this for storage, the other option is to take this table, see if I can do this for you, and place it in the rear slot. You get to see my better side there. And uh, it's totally out of the way and you can just use this for open seating. I like the fact that this little thing just fits right in behind it and everything is out of the way. So I think that's a great design. All right. Again, you get the big skylight on the other side with, of course, the blind that comes up for a cover. All of the curtains that you'll see on this are actually rolled up, so they're out of the way, but they certainly come down so you can black out the entire unit. You've, 
there's a uh, fantastic fan in the roof because these A-liners are really great for opening up the windows with the screens. You've got two large windows with screens on both sides and the window that's in the door has a screen as well. So you can get a lot of airflow coming through when you have your fantastic fan on. And your fantastic fan pulls the air out and it blows the air in. It does both. Now one thing you haven't seen in here so far has been the air conditioner and that's because it has an 11,000 BTU Coolcat air conditioner that's underneath the sofa seating in the back. Now the heat pump simply means that it's all electric and it, instead of blowing the cold air in, it blows the cold air out and the hot air in from the back of an air conditioner. So it, it isn't the same as a furnace but it is good for mildly cold weather. You also have a propane furnace on this, so you're good for really any weather. Let's come right around. The last thing we didn't talk about is going to be, whoops, is going to be the microwave right there. So you've got a built-in microwave as well on the classic version. A little cubby of storage, and then what you're seeing on the the end of the cabinet there is your controls for your your Coolcat air conditioner. All right, we've gotten a good look at the inside. Let's look at the outside, and then I'll show you how it goes up and down. Hey, folks, I'm going to go really quickly around this to show you what you see on the outside. Starts out with a porch light that you've got right next to the uh, entrance door. Very handy. Uh, you've got 110 electrical outlets, of course, for all those party lights. Remember I told you about the inside-outside stove that was inside? This is how it hooks up outside. This gas hookup clips into a quick connect right underneath the camper. And you can also see this is the venting for that Cool Cat air conditioner underneath. Right here is where your Cool Cat vents out. Again, the controls are all on the inside, just like a standard air conditioner. Stabilizing jacks, you can see one right down here. They are hand crank and you've got one on each corner. All four corners have stabilizing jacks on the Classic. Let's walk around the back, look at the hitch. This big square tube on the back is actually where they, uh, you have a clamp that holds your spare tire. And then you have a two inch receiver here if you'd like to add a storage tray or a bicycle rack or anything like that. Let's come around the back and look at the appliances. Real quickly, here is the water heater outlet because you have a water heater under this back seat so you have some nice hot water in your outside shower and in your sink. This is going to be your water inlet where you fill the tank. It has 11 gallons of a fresh water tank. That is your hookup straight to the hydrant. Your park cable attachment. Your electrical cord will come out here. Notice the wheels on this. They have great two-tone aluminum wheels. Now this unit has 13-inch tires. You can also get an off-road package with 14-inch tires. This is going to be the furnace outlet and of course your refrigerator venting on the back. The last thing you see on this side is going to be the outside shower. Now in the front, we don't have the propane tanks on here right now, but this unit comes with a single propane tank. You can upgrade to two, and that's why you see a tray with, with both slots on it, because that makes your upgrade really easy and fairly inexpensive. Again, you've got uh, lights on the front for all of your hookups and working with your propane. Your battery tray, crank with the wheel. All of them do come with a wheel. They do a nice aluminum uh, diamond plate on the front. Keep it clean and easy to keep the bugs off of it. Notice the handles. I love the handles on an A-liner so you can push it around. It's so lightweight. On flat, solid ground, it's very easy for even someone my size to push this around. And then in the front, this is access to storage that's underneath the seating on this side. And what you're seeing here is what they call a wet storage bag. It actually is clipped in around the, the frame of this and you can put wet things in here and then they don't get all mildewy inside your cabinet. This actually unsnaps and you can put it through the washer. So really nice to have when you're out camping and it starts raining.
You can also snap it out and just use open storage. Now, one thing I realized I didn't show you, and I'm going to tack it on on the outside because I think it's important, is this unit does not have a toilet in it. But what it does have, if you can follow me around and, and just peek through the door a little bit, is this cabinet right here for a porta potty. And right now, of course, we've got storage pieces in here that, that go on the camper, but uh, the Tefford Porta Potty, the 260B, slides right in here. Uh, so you can have it for middle of the night emergencies. Just slide it right out, put the cover down, and there you are. So that's a nice feature. All right, now we're going to show you how it goes up and down. Okay, the number one question we ask is how does it go up and down? So that's what we're going to show you. The first thing is you want everything below the hinge to be folded down. That includes your faucet and your cushions and the inside outside stove, which we've put on the ground because of course that one sits on top of the counter and above the hinge. So once we've folded that down, the next thing you do is unhook the rear hinges. Now, why the rear first? Well, because those are hard to reach. Once you start folding them down, it's hard to get back there. Then you go up to the front. All you do is unhook this and watch this. It doesn't weigh anything. So it just pops right down. Unhook this side. And you have to unlatch the door. You fold this side in over your head, lay it down, step out, now all you do is take this piece, the hole, and the whole thing comes down. And that's it. It's that easy. Okay, people are worried about popping up the camper now that we know how to pop it down. Uh, going up is just the opposite of what we did putting it down. You don't need a lot of arm strength. You just need to give it a push. So let's do that. Unhook it right here. Now these campers, you can see, they kind of want to go up. So you give it a push. Want to push it up right here? It's going to lock itself in. Just like that. All you have to do, lift this door and step inside and pull this wall over your head. Lean right up, clamp it in. You only need to clamp it in on one side. Go to the other side, clamp it in, and then you just simply go to the back and secure the back side of it. Am I moving too fast for you there? There you go. Then it's a matter of just cosmetics. Just flip up your cushions. And you're there. Lift your faucet up, flip up the dinette. Here you are. Call us if you have any questions about an A-liner. We'll be glad to help you.